The Demon Sword of Excalibur Episode 3 opens two years in the past with sword practice. Razelia thinks her holy sword will be a sword, which is why she's practicing with one. A group stops Razelia from practicing. They say she doesn't need to practice in their group. Regina comes in and stops them, though they still argue. She just takes the place of Razelia and is like, hey, I'm gonna beat you up. Present day, Leonis is watching Razelia sleep. I know Razelia was okay with them bathing together, but someone watching you sleep, she has to complain about it, right? Leona said she passed out last night in episode 2 and he carried her with magic to bed. Azealia asks Leonis who he is. Leona says he is an ancient wizard reincarnated. Magic was how his world ran. Magic was everywhere, unlike today. Which this anime is definitely odd. Like there is magic, but there's not magic. Everything got replaced with technology, and then there's still a fantasy aspect of it, and usually fantasy, in my opinion, like shouldn't have technology, like this world's dependent on technology. It just seems like there are so many different things going on in this plot all at once that probably should not be mixing together. Leonis tells her she is a vampire princess. He tells her her mana was low and to replenish it, she drank blood. Leonis says he does not know if she will be able to obtain a holy sword being dead, but does tell her her strength is going to get greater than it is now. She will become strong. They get ready for the day and go to the dining hall for breakfast. Razelia can still eat food, but it will not be enough to fill her. And they don't really say anything else besides that. They just say, hey, like, you can eat, but you're gonna have to do something else. And they don't even talk about if she's gonna have to drink Leonis's blood, or if she's gonna become bloodthirsty. Leonis just kind of says, hey, food is good, but it won't be enough for her. And then they move on, which I have so many questions about what happens since the food isn't going to be enough. Like, what is she gonna have to do? Drink Leonis's blood all the time? Or yeah, is she going to be drinking other people's blood now? Leonis says he will pay for his meal. He randomly makes a coin appear from his shadow. Unfortunately, cash is not accepted and he has to use credit, kind of like in today's 2023 world. Two men from a casino ask Sakua for their payment. She uses her wooden sword to knock them down and says she will pay them once she has the money. Leonis is happy to meet Sakua because she knows how to use a blade. They eat breakfast. A girl comes to her and asks for money she borrowed. Sakua is just always going to owe someone. That's probably her characteristic. Sakya's whole village was wiped out by voids. That is why she's at this school. It is time for Leonis to have his evaluation. The holy sword he has is a staff that appears from his shadow. So everything is coming from Leonis's shadow, so I don't know if his staff is really where his power source is, or if he just has magic that he's able to recreate stuff from shadows manipulate shadows, and just basically has shadow magic. Before the test could even begin, Leonis wipes out the void robots. Everyone is impressed he easily took them out and wonders what happened. The only way to do Leonis's evaluation is to fight Muscle. Muscle and his group will fight Leonis. Muscle wants to get him back from stopping him from bullying Rhyzelia last episode. Leonis is content with him fighting them all alone. Razelia says she will fight also. This part has me annoyed. The weak, non-holy sword user is going to fight. This is annoying. Yes, yeah, she is a vampire now, so she has some strength. She doesn't even know if she will be able to control her strength, and she doesn't even know how strong she is yet. Like, Leonis's battle is now going to be Razelia's battle, and this annoys me so much. Both sides place bets on what will happen if the other team loses. I really wanted to see Leonis fight alone against others. Like, ever since episode 1, Razelia is always coming to mess up Leonis fighting. Or there's another character coming to mess up Leonis fighting. Like, I just want to see him fight a group and not be interrupted or have it being taken away. Leonis even told Razelia he is a powerful wizard, and she still decided to step in. During the fight, Razelia is doing a good job at attacking and defending. Leonis uses his shadows to attack, but it's mainly Razelia fighting. 
Now Zoya is frozen in place and starts freaking out she needs to protect Leonis. Bra, you know he is powerful. She needs to stop looking down on Leonis as a weakling. As she freaks out even more, her holy sword appears. Now Zoya was correct on her holy sword will be a sword. Razilia by herself is able to win against Muscle and his group. I don't know what the results were of Leonis's evaluation since no one saw him use his holy sword and it was all about Razilia, which is really cool. She is stronger now and she finally has her holy sword. Good for her, but what happened to Leonis? After the fight, it is time to celebrate Razilia getting her holy sword, finally. They talk about her sword. Next topic is where will Leonis sleep? The girls try to convince Leonis to sleep in their rooms, though he still will be with Razilia. It will make it easier, especially for Razilia, to hide she is a vampire princess if both of them share a room. Leonis gets a hold of a tablet and uses it to look at a map. He's looking at this map to try to figure out this modern world he is in. Blackus is called upon. He tells Leonis the floating island has a core with mana. Humans call it a power plant. Sheree comes next and gives Leonis donuts. Donuts are tasty. Sheree talks about food, which does not please Leonis. She spent time only on food. Sheree tells Leonis not to worry. She says no one in the city knows about the demon lord nor the war. That is the information she has for Leonis, which is great that it is confirmed, but we kind of already knew that information. Shrey gets jealous he turned Razilia into a vampire to make her his minion. Shrey loves Leonis, has a crush on him, and she doesn't want competition. And now in her mind, she has competition. The last scene of episode 3 is an underwater scene of a creature saying the name Leonis. Maybe this creature was defeated by Leonis the hero. Or, since the focus is supposed to be about the demon lord being reincarnated, trying to return his army, it could be about that. But after three episodes, nothing's going on with the demon lord and his army, so it's probably not even about that. So I have no idea why this creature knows Leonis's name. I do want to keep watching to learn more about this world and why no one has been taught about the time period Leonis was around for. When did this world that was filled with magic now get switched to a world filled with technology and a little bit of magic in the shape of a holy sword? I enjoy the plot so far. I mean, I feel like in episode 3, the description of this anime about Demon Lord being reincarnated to get back his army is inaccurate now. The plot is totally wildly different, but I'm still enjoying it. It is trying in its own way to stand out. Do you think this anime is being successful with the plot? You can comment below. Or do you think this plot, this anime is nothing special?